Hello, today I have this 4 amp DeWalt battery and it's been through the wires, there's no uh, battery indicator to tell us what's going on there but we have a voltmeter and I'll just hook it up to it now the voltmeter is showing 16.43 I know why this is but I'm going to get into the battery and show you why it is the battery open we can have a closer look at the, this, this has been through the wires this one. Test individual banks of cells to see where we're at. 401.66 of a volt. 3.94. 3.73 and 408. So there's one bank of cells is less than a volt. There's a little technique I recently learned. To bring up the voltage of this bank of cells. I've all sorts of different techniques I've had before. But I've been told if they're under two they're kaput. But I think we can, we can try something. There's this LiPo balance charger. And this is designed to charge different types of batteries. You can select all different types. For the... We're going LiPo batteries, which is lithium ion or LiPo, you know. And what we'll connect is we'll go from plus to minus. We'll have to get the polarity right here. Because we're going this bank of cells here. Um, I think that's the way it was. Yes, that's, that's plus, that's minus. So we'll hook these on. And I'll show you what I'm going to do now. So that's charging this bank of cells. So we have to just test and select the right battery here. So we have to select the right type of battery here on this. Let's see, I'll start again. Press that once, that flashes. Press that twice, that flashes. So we'll go down to 1S. So that means we're charging one bank of cells. And press start, then we hold. And that'll check. And I'll press enter. And that'll start charging that bank of cells. And that fully charges that up like the rest. We should have a good battery again, so we'll give that some time. The short time and it's come to 362, 3.62 that is. Um it hasn't far to go to match the rest in another point three of a volt. So we'll give it more time. This has been on over an hour and it's probably put things up a wee bit too high. But it's 4.08. 4.01 and 407 so there's one bank a little bit low still I could switch over to it and try and get it up a little since this was uh Nearly at the top, I didn't go as gentle with the charge, I've given her a 3 amp charge instead of 1.7 once you give the other bank. So that should come up fairly, fairly quickly. So that means now we've got our battery voltage up to 1992, which is almost full charge. 20.2 would be better, but we'll put it in the charger to see what happens. Just um Put it together, put it in the charger here. And here it goes. It's charging. Shouldn't take it very long to get up to full charge, so we'll bear with it a minute here. We'll just stop the video and then I'll restart when it's charged. There we have a solid red light in the charger. But we've no battery indicator in this one because this is a rough battery. To show us what bars we have, but that's not important. We'll just test the voltage to see if that has helped in the balance of this battery. It's brought it back from the dead either way. Nearly. 19.9 so we could do we've been balanced a little bit more but I think we can see the benefit of that 
USB 6 balance charger now. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out my channel for all my other videos.